All right, traders, hello. Quick update now. So I've got this update video, and then Connor and myself, uh, we're doing trade talk, Pippa and Easy. I think it's like episode 78, uh, going over what we've traded, what we're looking at trading. So this will be just a quick recap of how the week has gone. So on, it would have been Tuesday, the 28th, I got in on the Swiss Yen. This is how the Swiss Yen is looking now. So, um, I actually thought this was going to fade back down again, but it's sort of pushed higher. Who knows where it's going to go? This is a break even, just above break even now. That red line is my stop loss just above the entry. So originally it was about 112.05 was the stop. This moved in my favor. Uh, you know, this doesn't necessarily happen all the time. Uh, and we'll go and I'll show you how. Let's do the euro pound. So the euro pound. Now I was just out of curiosity this morning. I woke up. I went to bed at about uh, twelve thirty last night. Woke up nine hours later. Got a great sleep. Um, and I had suspicions the euro pound was going to close out, and it did. Um, just euro pound. I thought I had the euro pound up. Maybe I didn't. So this right here, guys, is a Lambda FX trade. So this will actually let you trade smaller than 0 0.01 lots, which is great if you have a smaller account like I do currently, and if you really want exact risk management. All right, so we'll save that now. I will go Euro Pound. So Euro Pound, Euro Pound, Euro Pound. So I got in. Um, Gosh, it would have been, was that the 28th right there? When was this here? I might have been in around here or so. And it, it was looking okay, and then it just collapsed completely. And I think this was on the back of um, Theresa May. I think there was some Brexit chatter. It was pretty positive, um, which is not ideal, but I only took 1% on this. So if we just go and... Should be able to see it when it goes to 12. So it's not actually showing that. It's interesting. But anyway, so you can see that it did close out because it was 27 then down to 12. So let's try its activity. So. You know, that's life though. We've still got this trade going. And, you know, in regards to Euro Pound, I've tried this. This is the second time this month I've actually tried um, the breakout. So I might have gotten in around here and actually did move in my favor around this count here. I would have got in. And that's a heavy retrace. That's a heavy retrace. So that's a little unfortunate. But uh, what I will discuss now is on US dollar so I was going to do a live video but at the time I was sort of you know I was at 2% risk um, and the pound you know it was later and I was quite fatigued and I was like well you know I could potentially put an order in here but I didn't and let's just see what it's doing now so it is actually strengthening some more we're going to enter the one hour and really it's What's the high here in this candle? There it is, 37. So really maybe like 45 is a potential entry here. The high there I think is 40, 39. So maybe like 42 just to account for the spread. Or well, the spread's like, you know, one odd pip. But i um, going to be watching this one here. Now, my that's right. My main concern was I was thinking there's going to be bit more of a reversion back down to the mean here a little bit because it moved quite strongly. Um, go to the daily candle and it's up. Okay, like that's massive. Um, that's the biggest candle I can see here pretty much since well April till this is going back. So it's um yeah. So like I said, there was there was pretty good news out of uh UK about Brexit, so and Aussie dollar I'll touch upon as well briefly. This one is pretty choppy 
I was talking about a sell, I was talking about a buy, it's sort of hard to read, and I'm just going to pass on it for now. The clearer one with the cleaner chart is the pound. So we'll go back and I'll just show you exactly how I'm going to approach this. So we'll go to the weekly and we just want to see what it's currently trading at. So there is a little resistance, but go to the daily, which is more relevant because I'll be entering on a one hour probably. <sighs> yeah. So there is there's going to be a bit of a battle there. I want to see how this this one hour candle behaves. Ideally, it holds sideways during Asia, and then if we can get a push higher during the European session, I'll potentially take a trade. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for Trade Talk. Uh, I think it's going to be out in about three hours or so. I'll be touching base with Connor soon. So stay tuned for that. Connor's short euro. There's quite a few trades to talk about. Um, we'll go through how he's dealing with losing trades and things like that, some important psychology. Uh, until then, guys, happy trading and bye for now.